Hey, Dr. Gilmet here, and I'm going to show you how to use Excel to solve a truth table. So here we have an example from a homework problem. Today is Monday, comma, or the napkins are out, or the tea is hot. All right, so P is going to be today is Monday, Q is the napkins are out, and R is the tea is hot. And we have to figure out what goes on in this column um, over here. Now they've set up P as true, 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 false, 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 false. So I've done the same thing over here in Excel. Q is true, true, false, false, followed by true, true, false, false. So I've typed the same thing in over here. And under R, I have true, false, true, false, true, false, true, false. And so I've replicated that. So I've already got P, Q, and R in here. And what we want to have is P or Q or R. All right? So basically, I have a rule. Um, and the rule is you never do more than two columns at a time. So because this is in parentheses, I want to do Q or R next. Now, for Q or R, to do this in Excel, you just hit the equal sign, type or. I usually hit the tab key. You can double click on it. You can just type the parentheses, however you want to do it to get like this. Now, <clears throat> it requires two logical statements. So logic one is going to be the Q. So I go over here under Q and I click on this one. And then I see it's a comma. So I'm going to type a comma. And then I see it wants a second logical. My second logical is R. So right here under R, I'm going to click. So I'm on the same row as my function. And I'm in the same columns as the two statements up above. Now, because I did it this way, I can actually take advantage of Excel's copy and paste feature. And I can kind of hover over this corner and drag it down, and it'll fill in because this one is now going to be this second row. This third one is going to be this third row. This fourth one is going to be this fourth row, and so on and so forth. So you're going to stay in the same row. All right. Now, you see that it's P or Q or R. So P is the first column that I want to look at, or, and then the second column is the Q or R column. Well, this P is this column right here, and the Q or R is this column right here. So when I do this, I'm basically going to do equals or, right? And my P is this P, because it's on the same row as the function and the same column as that first statement. And then I do the comma. And then I'm going to go here because this is on the same row as my function. And it's in the same column as the Q or R. And then I hit Enter. And I'm going to go ahead and drag this down. And now I see that they are all true except for the bottom one, which is false. So this is actually true, this is true, this is true, but this is false. And that will match up with what we have here as our answer. Okay? <clears throat> now we go ahead and check the answer, and it says that that's right, and that makes us happy. Okay? So remember, do only to um, columns at a time. That's toe. Sorry about that. Two. Do only two columns at a time, right? Um, and uh, I think that's that's your secret sauce. That makes us happy.